Now apparently there are several different types of cornflowers and that by that I mean there's like uh, ones that are pink, red, white, and blue but apparently most of the medicinal benefits come only from the blue ones. Blue cornflower is good for a lot of different things. It helps with fevers, uh, constipation, uh, water retention, uh, chest congestion. It's a liver and gallbladder stimulant. It helps with dandruff and eczema. It also, one of the big ones, is it supposedly helps with uh, eye problems, specifically things like puffy eyes, um, conjunctivitis, and um, other little various uh, eye irritation problems. So um, it, there's lots of different research about the eye stuff in particular. It's also an expectorant and diuretic. It regulates kidney function. It's supposed to ease uh, menstrual cramps. For yeast infections, apparently you can use the flowers to help ease yeast infections. It's supposed to help uh, with things like anxiety, depression, and uh, UTIs, uh, urinary tract infections as well. There's also very limited uh, side effects as far as this is concerned. Um, one of which, um, I put it in the side effects because they say it's an appetite stimulant. And I know some people don't like that. They, <laughs> I, I've, you know, if you have something you need, then it could be a benefit. But for a lot of people, they're like, I don't need an appetite stimulant. The one big one is, is if you're allergic to ragweed, daisies, dandelions, or sunflowers, then you're probably allergic to this as well. So if any of those affect you, you're probably going to want to avoid the cornflower, unfortunately. So, but beyond that, there hasn't been any research that says it has any other major side effects, which is really good. So, hooray for cornflower and hooray for Mr. Gray! I do like this one. Ah, alright. Y'all have a good day!